This is Jim McConnell again for, from McConnell Labs, manufacturers of light, elegant snail products. We're on our second chemist corner, and we welcome you back if you've watched the first one. Today we're talking about allergies and gateway allergens. So what exactly does that mean? In chemist corner number one, we talked about what organic is, and I pointed out HEMA, HEA, and the uh, two HPMA. These are just good examples of some of the monomers that we use when we make gels. Gels are thick, viscous, liquid products that cure under a source of energy. Most of the time it's energy you can see, so that becomes light. So in this case here, we're using, or I'm gonna use the examples for HEMA and HEA. Some of the products that we bring in from China uh, might contain HEA, so hydroxyethyl acrylate. HEA is a really good raw material, and it builds some of the oligomers that we use, and oligomer is a semi-polymerized material, thick, viscous liquid, that we use to help build some of those materials. HEMA is also one of those products, hydroxyethylmethacrylate. The difference between HEMA and HEA is HEA does not have a methyl group on the end, which causes a steric hindrance. That steric hindrance on the end slows down the chemical reaction. So HEA is faster reacting on its own, or if it's coupled with a larger molecule. HEA, if you use it as a monomer in a gel product, it does thin out the viscosity of the material, which makes it easier to apply faster to move. However, HEA is highly sensitive, sensitizing. So as a result, if you have a gel that you're bringing in, and HEA happens to be present in that gel, then an allergy reaction is very, very likely. So I would call HEA a gateway allergen, so that if you ever go, if you become allergic to HEA, then you will eventually become allergic or most likely become allergic to HEMA in the future. HEMA is a resin, it's a monomer that we use in gels, and it does help with adhesion to the fingernail. So if you are using a product and HEA is in that product, you should stop using it. So read your, read your ingredient levels and then see where that HEA might be present in that product if it is. And if it is, stop using it and find something else. Another option is some people might become allergic to HEMA. So HEMA is a very good product, helps with the adhesion, thins out the viscosity. HEMA is not a gateway allergen to HPMA. So if you have an allergy to HEMA, you could probably use HPMA and not have any problems. So those are two other things you need to take a look at. Other gateway allergens that you should take a look for would be TH THFAA, uh, THFA, so tetrahydrofuryl uh, acrylate can lead to allergies and it's highly allergenic. It is used as a raw material. Some of the raw materials, um, some of the products that come in from Poland are made with THFA, and as a result, if you're allergic to that, you may become allergic to t products that contain THFMA later on. So make sure you pay attention to your ingredient levels and the ingredients that are used, and try to avoid the products that have monomers in them that do not contain the methacrylated version. Uh, so if you have any questions, Go ahead and reach down below, send us an email, send us a post. We'll go ahead and respond as quickly as possible. Jim McConnell, Chemist Corner, please come back. Thank you.